Hi everyone, welcome to this week's Friday Coffee Talk. Uh, you're hanging out with the MindLink crew today, yet again. This week we're going to be talking about a couple of best ways to help non-English speakers. Um, but first, we think that it would be um, an interesting, uh, I guess, exercise to show an example of role play of a bad way uh, to help non-English speakers. So uh, we're going to be uh, role-playing with Stacy and Agnes today from the MindLink team. And uh, yeah, so Stacy here is going to play the role of a system administrator, or not system administrator, school administrator, um, or a, you know, administrative assistant or something like that um, for, uh, from a school. And then Agnes is going to play the role of a, a parent who is calling the school to check in and ask a couple of questions about her student. All right, so we'll start with the phone ring. Ring, ring, ring. Hello, this is Martha Washington Elementary. How may I help you? Uh, good morning. Um, I'm calling uh, because my son, uh, oh, no, he bring a note. Mm -hmm. A note? Who is from the school, note, note from? Uh, can you repeat? Note, what does the note say? Who is it from? Uh, I don't understand what the note says. That's what I'm. That's why I'm calling. Who wrote the note? Um. <clears throat> who is the I, teacher? I. I think it's um, Mrs. Wellington. Is that the teacher? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'm sorry. This is so frustrating. Uh, what does the note say? That's the thing. I don't understand what it says. I can't um, can help I... you unless I know what the note says. Um, All right, let's end there. Is there somebody else? <laughs> let's cut scene there. How about that? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. So debriefing um, from that bad way to help a non-native English speaker. Um, let's talk about a couple of ways or a couple of reasons why that was bad. All right. So first of all, Stacy, <laughs> school well, administrator. I was really frustrated with Agnes because she couldn't communicate and she's in America. <laughs> she should be able to say what she needs to mean. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. I'm taking evening classes. I'm taking evening classes to improve my English. <laughs> Mrs. Wow, I'm so excuse me, Washington. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. So clearly, um, Agnes calling the school, you know, you weren't able to even get to your questions because, you know, Stacy, system, or system, why do I keep saying that? School administrator uh, wasn't willing to kind of look past the fact that maybe you were struggling with English a little bit and kind of kept focusing on that and being frustrated with the fact that she couldn't completely 100% understand you. So, were you that was about it, Agnes? I was frustrated, yes. Um, right. My hearing was fine. <laughs> it's, just... it's not about volume, right? <laughs> yes. It's about. <laughs> Lower and louder, you should be able to understand me. Everyone right. knows that. It's like the rule of thumb for American English speakers, right? Yeah. You just have yeah. to you have to just speak really slow and painfully loud, and yeah. everyone will understand you. Eventually, right? Eventually. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, cool. So um yeah. Anything else in particular? I feel like it was just very clearly, obviously, a bad way to handle that scenario. So, yes. Um, well, and I would like to um, reference a uh, blog post that was posted a couple weeks ago about the best ways to help on English speakers. Mm -hmm. And a couple of good advices. I don't know if 
you can see I'll throw it up here on my screen can you see that okay yes we can awesome okay so one thing is you know it's important if you are working with the public at all um, to be ready for that potential that someone might call you his limited English proficiency so mm -hmm. you need to have a plan in place for what are you going to do when they give you when they call you definitely um, Another thing is pick up on the cues. I mean, it was clear to me in the first minute that, you know, I was speaking with somebody who was struggling with English. So an easy thing is to just say, what language would you prefer? Um, it's not offensive at all to people. Right. Or, you know, rephrasing it, is there a language that you would prefer to speak in? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. And then offer help. We could connect it with a professional interpreter. Mm -hmm. Speaking slow is good, but sometimes I would ask a question and then follow it immediately with another question before Agnes got to answer. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. it's, she didn't even have a chance to process what I was trying to say, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then if there are any um, documents or forms or brochures or anything that might be help, that might help mm -hmm. you know, provide that. <clears throat> and then, of course, um, you know, follow up. Uh, and that's just good communication skills, like repeat right. what they say, follow up. And of course, use, use uh, professionals. Uh, Most important thing uh, there, for sure. Uh, make sure you're using somebody who's a trained interpreter, not just the, the student. Of, right. you know, the, like, we don't want Agnes's son to do all the interpreting because he might leave out some details there. So. Right. So no, those are some tips. You can check out this on our on our blog. Um, but let's maybe go through um, a better example of yeah. that call. Awesome. Um, and I'll put a link to this blog in the video uh, info section as well. All right. Cool. So, all right. Mm -hmm. Pick two for the phone call. This time it will be the best way to help non-native English speakers in the same scenario. All right. Okay. So, I'm ready. Stacy. Ring, 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 ring. Hello, this is Martha Washington Elementary. How may I help you? Uh, good morning. Um, this is Mrs. Conco. I have a, a note. My my son, uh, he uh, bring a note from school. Okay. I, um, I'm uh, not sure what it says. Okay. I think are, it's from the you... teacher. Are you able to read the note? Um, not really. Okay. Is there um, a language that you would prefer to speak with me today? Um, can you say it again? Uh, what language would you prefer to speak about this note? Oh, uh, Polish, please. Polish. Okay, well, we don't have anyone here at the moment. Um, can we reschedule a time with an interpreter? Would yes. that help? Yes. Okay. Yes. Great. How's Friday at noon? Uh, Friday, uh, 12. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you. We'll look forward to, to hearing your question. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> awesome. All right, so clearly, whoops, I'll switch it to me. So clearly this was a great way to help this um, non-native English speaking parent. Um, you know, clearly Stacy uh, spoke very slowly, uh, clarified questions. Agnes was able to, you know, have time to process questions and wasn't too overloaded with, you know, constant barrage of question after question. and. You know, Stacy going to the side and saying, oh, this is ridiculous. She can't speak English. It's like that. <laughs> um, and at the end, they schedule a time for uh, someone to uh, interpret that Polish conversation. So, yeah. I felt over bad about it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. I think it was good. I think yes. we, we nailed it. Yes. We nailed it. All right. Nailed I think it. you handled it great. Yes, I think, <laughs> I think it was fantastic. I think you could have done better. So if you have more ideas, you can comment on this video and uh, yeah. definitely uh, subscribe uh, for future um, entertaining role plays from the Definitely. Microsoft. 
Awesome. All right. Well, I think uh, if there isn't anything else, that about does it for this week's Friday Coffee Talk. Um, yeah, like Stacy said, if you have any comments or suggestions or any other um, future coffee talk ideas that you would be interested in hearing about, uh, stick them in the comments and we will definitely give those a whirl. But until next week, see you later. We'll sign wow. out. Or how do you Bye. say goodbye in Polish? Uh, oh, yeah. Do widzenia. Nice. I'm not, I'm not going to try. I'm, gonna try. Uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Next time. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. That was good. Write it down and I'll practice. <laughs> okay. Cool. All right. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.